Hello, today we'll discuss update for record input. Uh, so, the main update in this version is about neural networks. If I replay input, I may face this situation. For example, I will all the time see in sky. So, it's probably uninteresting and not very good scenario. And the second scenario, if I see the ground. So, the idea is to use neural network and teach the situation if we see uh, ground or if we see sky and move camera to stabilize our horizon. So, basically we did it with uh, TensorFlow Keras model, uh, have training data uh, collected by ourselves, but in future we plan to uh, optimize this process uh, to make it more easy to create. So, what do we have here? First of all, we have separated our neural network, so if you simply don't need it, you will not use it, and you can use classical um, ACV flow to run without uh, any neural networks. Uh, if you want to use neural networks, you will probably want to uh, set up extra uh, software like Python 3.10 and dependencies, you will see it in the readme files. So uh, please install all of them, probably the simplest way will be enter command lines, um, type Python, you will be <laughs> prompted to enter Windows Store page windows windows store here you will find python but what's important is that you should install python 3.10 not other version because otherwise your gpu will be not will not calculate everything and will be a little bit slower uh, today i am using um quite old gpu i am using um rx 560 it is an entry-level GPU from AMD to calculate and the teach process, but previously I've used um, RTX 3060 and the result was slightly different. Uh, what's interesting about uh, neural networks and teaching with TensorFlow that um, the best performance you will achieve on the virtual Linux machine and using CUDA. Uh, that's why it will be probably the next step if I need extra performance in this case. So, let's dive deep. We have these files over here. It's been extended dramatically. Uh, basically, we have ACV, ACVNN. We have base model where everything like before been. So, to start, just run it. Be sure that after hotkey version 1 is enabled. Um, here to run all the correct execute tables because we have different versions like after, after hotkey version 2. But everything works under this version. So let's start. Go to uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, hit F5, and as you can see I also added uh, some Windows layout auto layouting because previously it was I need to move Windows terminal on right and uh, have a perfect window size because we have uh, detecting some red places on the screen uh, to enter fight scenario. Now I did this automatically with the help of after hotkey. Future plans is to port everything from after hotkey to Python because we have like overhead uh, in communication between uh, Python side and the uh, IHK side. We're exchanging data and uh, text files like <laughs> appending it. We have like some sort of uh, stream emulation. It's not so dramatic overhead, but for some larger and heavy. Uh, Recognitions it will may impact. For now we have like um, it's about 150 milliseconds to execute. So I think the bet main bottleneck is the GPU. Uh, s if I run may maybe on CUDA I will have much more performance. And if I don't have any connection with the auto head key, it's also be much better. So for real time systems, uh, extra polishing, extra setup may require it. Uh, on the right I see the log of everything. As you can see, zero means uh, that we have stable horizon, we don't need to adjust it. I will try to help by correcting my mouse, like this one. As you can see, we detected two and slightly move camera up and, and have been stabilized. That's pretty much it about the actual running, so I'm hitting F12 to stop and let's let's see what do we have in the code. Uh, for for a better explanation, first of all, we have folder called uh, nnteach. 
uh, here we have data. Uh, data is um, split into three uh, models like 0, 1 and 2nd. 0 we have simply correct horizon. I've collected all this data by myself. Uh, of course a good idea is to have 2000 uh, examples for each model but it will be very huge um, representable and probably I will move to lower resolution. The class 1 means we see sky and the class 2 means we see ground. Uh, we have this file uh, TensorFlow Teach. If I run it, it will start teaching, uh, GPU will be used. And as a result, we got a model that we can be run and see the actual predict or result of the next neural network running. So we have a um, model outside of this folder in the playbacks. Uh, and it's called simply model. As you can see, it's a binary file and we cannot preview. Uh, for testing, we have TensorFlow run. We can add some screen for testing, like for now it's uh, test 11. Um, if I run it, I will see the result in the console. So it is the actual image I'm previewing it, to be sure. And as you can see, result is 1. But what I found is we have quite big error problem over here, so if I choose some random screen, I don't know, test maybe 7. Um, I see, as you can see, sky, so results should be 1. Let's see what we've got, but we got 0. So actually it's not 100% uh, accurate, but it is quite accurate, about 70-100%, it go uh, works well. Uh, for example, maybe for test 8, let's check this. And as you can see, result of two means that we detected ground. Uh, so if you want to extend your model, you will simply put any images over here, but please keep resolution the same. Uh, because of UI can affect slightly uh, on the final teaching. What I found interesting that at night the results much, much worse. So if we take uh, some nights results, maybe this one. Uh, everything is bl blue uh, from the sky ambience, so result maybe not accurate. So this, from this term of accuracy, night is uh, not very good for uh, teaching and executing. That's pretty much it about uh, this update for automatic replay. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.